In this lecture, we will be studying about Chomsky normal form. So we shall see what is Chomsky normal form and we will also see how to convert a given context-free grammar to Chomsky normal form. Alright, so first let's see what is a Chomsky normal form. In Chomsky normal form, which we will call C and F, we have a restriction on the length of RHS, which is elements in RHS should either be two variables or a terminal. So, in Chomsky normal form, we have a restriction on the length of the right hand side of every production. And what is that? It says elements in the right hand side should either be two variables. So, they can be either two variables or two non-terminal symbols or a single terminal symbol. Okay, so let's see here. A CFG is in Chomsky normal form if the productions are in the following forms. So here we have two productions given and let's see the first one. The first one says A gives small a. Here this capital A is a variable or a non-terminal symbol and this small a is a terminal symbol. So we see that in the RHS there is just a single a which is a terminal symbol. So if there is a single terminal symbol then it is in Chomsky normal form. And in the second production here it says A gives B C. Here both B and C are variables or non-terminal symbols. So in the RHS if we have two variables then also it is in Chomsky normal form. So all productions which are in this form are said to be in a Chomsky normal form. Alright, so now we will see the steps that we need to follow in order to convert a given CFG to its equivalent Chomsky normal form. So here are the steps. We have steps 1 to 5 and following these 5 steps we can convert a given context free grammar to Chomsky normal form. So let's see the steps. Step number 1. If the start symbol S occurs on some right side, create a new start symbol S dash and a new production S dash gives S. So if the start symbol occurs on the right side of some production, then we have to create a new start symbol S dash and also we will create a new production for that saying S dash gives S. So you have to perform this step number one if you are having a start symbol on the right hand side of any of the productions. Step two, remove null productions. So in the last lecture I have taught you how to remove null productions. So following those steps you have to remove the null productions if there are any using the null production removal discussed in the previous lecture. And in step 3 you have to remove the unit productions. This also I have discussed in the previous lecture. So using the unit production removal discussed in the previous lecture you have to remove all the unit productions in the CFG if there are any. All right. So coming to step 4, it says replace each production A gives B1, B2 up till Bn where n greater than 2 with A gives B1, C where C gives B2 up till Bn. Repeat this step for all productions having two or more symbols on the right side. So we already saw that in the definition of Chomsky normal form. In the right hand side, we are allowed to have only two variables. So if you are having a production of this form, where on the right hand side you are having n variables. So here n is greater than 2. So what you have to do, you have to create productions of this form A gives B1C. So that in the right hand side we will have only two variables. And here C will give B2, that means here we have taken B1, the remaining one was B2 till Bn. So C will give B2 till Bn. So you have to repeat this step for all productions having two or more symbols on the right side. So as you repeat this, you will reach a stage when you will have only two variables on the right side of each production. So till you reach that stage, you have to do this step number four. Okay, so don't worry even if this seems a little confusing, it will be clear when we take example in the next lecture. Okay, so after performing step 4, we come to step 5 in which it says, if the right side of any production is in the form A gives AB, where A is a terminal and A and B are non-terminals, 
then the production is replaced by A gives X B and X gives A. Repeat this step for every production which is of the form A gives A B. So we saw in the rules of Chomsky normal form that we can have either one terminal symbol in the right hand side or two non-terminal symbols. But symbols of this form where there is one terminal symbol and one non-terminal symbol are not allowed in Chomsky normal form. So in order to remove this whenever you have productions of this form what you have to do is you have to replace it with A gives X B. So this A which was a terminal symbol is replaced by X which is a non-terminal symbol and we have to make a production which says X gives A. And you have to do this for all productions which are of this form. So when you perform all these steps, step 1 to 5, depending upon the kind of productions that you have, when you finish these steps, you will obtain the Chomsky normal form of the given context-free grammar. So these are the steps you need to follow. And don't worry, even if this is a little confusing now, in the next lecture, we will be taking an example where we will be solving a problem where we will be converting a given CFG to its equivalent Chomsky normal form. So I hope this was helpful to you. So see you in the next one with an example.